Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. We are going to solve this exponential equation root x power root x is equal to 4. If you observe, left side is having square root, so x is positive always. So that value is 4. Let me, let me consider root x is equal to y. So if root x is equal to y, then this equation will convert into y power y equal to 4 and I can write this 4 as 2 square. Now just see base is same, exponent is same. So y is equal to 2 is our solution. That means y is equal to root x. So that means root x is equal to 2 is our solution. x is equal to 4 is our answer. Is this x equal to 4 the only answer or the only solution for this exponential equation? This is what we are going to check today. So before that, for more videos like this, if you didn't subscribe yet my channel, please do subscribe channel. Thank you so much. Now I am going to consider y raised to the power y equal to 4. See how I will solve, I will consider whether my function is monotonic increasing or not, second I will draw the graph of that. Then we will conclude few statements which are really very important. Okay, so that value is, let me consider P is equal to Y power Y. Take ln both sides. So ln P will be equal to Y ln Y. Now put that derivative Calculate. Let us find out. So 1 over p logarithmic differentiation dp over dy equal to y times 1 over y the derivative of ln y plus ln y the derivative of y is 1. So it is 1 plus ln y. Now we have to find out critical points. So we will put dp over dy equal to 0. The derivative must be equal to 0 for critical points. So 1 plus ln y equal to 0. ln y equal to negative 1. Exponent form e raised to the power minus 1 or 1 over e. That means root x is equal to 1 over e or x is equal to 1 over e square. This is something important. If you can see x is equal to 1 over e square. Suppose I am finding again the second derivative to check whether this point is having minima or maxima. So I will consider one more time derivative. So that value will be coming from this equation. Let me write that equation. Let us find out the second derivative. So that will be p is always positive. So, from this equation I am writing, from this equation, dp over dy will be equal to ln y, the derivative of ln y is 1 over y. Okay, y is always positive, you can say, because y is root x, y is square root of x, that value would be always positive. So, it is always positive, means, if I am putting y, the value of x 1 over e square, that value will come out positive. So that means x equal to 1 over e square is the point where minima is attained. Now we can find out value also. So y equal to root x power root x. What is the value at that point? So 1 over e square power 1 over e square. If you will simplify, that value will be, it is square root actually. So, uh, that value will be without R2. So, it is 1 over e or 1 over. Okay. So, let us take the graph part. See now, this is minima at 1 over e. And this 0.692 is the value of 1 over e power 1 over. Okay. 
now if p is equal to y par y ln p will be equal to y ln y find out the limit at x tending to or y tending to 0 because root x is equal to y so x tending to 0 means y tending to 0 put that value y equal to 0 y is 0 then this value will be 0 so ln p will be 0 that means p will tend towards e raised to the power 0 means tending towards 1 that is why you can see this point is 0 comma 1 the graph will start from 1 and then it will attain minima and then it is climbing towards infinity okay so this is your graph root x par root x this is the graph as x tending to infinity your y value the function value will tend towards infinity the end behavior would be infinity now this line green color line is y equal to 4 the right side you can see their intersection see this is constant line and this graph is monotonic increasing function so by our verification also finding minima finding y intercept finding x intercept you can see it is not going to intersect x axis so no real root you will be getting the intersection of y equal to 4 the constant line and this graph monotonic increasing function graph is at x equal to 4 you can see so this x equal to 4 is the only solution for this equation exponential equation this is line y equal to 4 and this is your graph x root x par root x this is the solution possible i hope you got the point which i want to erase actually in this video and uh, see thank you so much for watching please do subscribe my channel thanks a lot